सो रिसेंटली मुंबई सेशन कोर्ट हैज़ सेंटेंस्ड अ क्लेम्ड आर्टिस्ट चिंतन उपाध्याय हु वॉज गिल्टी ऑफ कंस्पायरिंग लास्ट टाइम एंड दिस टाइम मुंबई सेशन कोर्ट हैज़ सेंटेंस्ड अ आर्टिस्ट टू लाइफ इम्प्रिजनमेंट फॉर कंस्पायरिंग एंड अबेटिंग द मर्डर ऑफ हिज एक्स वाइफ एंड अ लॉयर so on december 12 2015 a scrap dealer alerted the kandiwali police about two suspicious looking cardboard boxes floating in a nala these wo- boxes contained two bodies later identified as hema and harish with their hands tied behind their back and their mouths and eyes taped shut 11 days later on december 22 chintan upadhyay was arrested the other accused are vijay rajbhar Pradeep Rajbhar, Shiv Kumar Rajbhar, and one juvenile, the main accused, which I read uh, last time also. So after the court found all the accused guilty, last week arguments on sentencing took place on Saturday. So while one accused said he had three children and was the only breadwinner of the family, his children were facing issues getting admission in a school. the second said his old parent were dependent on him while the third said he was only 18 at the time of, of his arrest and prayed for leniency so quoted here chintan said my conscience is clear i have not committed any offense i am innocent however if the court has found me guilty no mercy should be shown i am ready to accept whatever punishment the court decides so a special uh, public prosecutor webber bagley on the other hand said the accused are determined and they were all voluntarily voluntarily involved in the crime the conscience of the society was shaken and it was talk of the town considering the attack on lawyer he said the judiciary is a, a vital pillar of society message has to be given that if pillar are shaken it will be taken seriously The Dindushi Sessions Court had charged Upadhyay and three others under Section 302, which calls for murder. 396, 201, destruction of evidence. Section 109, abetment, and Section 100, 120, b, read with 34 of the IPC. It is the prosecution case that property disputes and enmity following the couple divorce led him to plot the murder. The police claimed that it was on Chintan's order that fabrication artist Vidya Dhar Rajpar killed the ex-wife Hema Upadhyay and her lawyer with the help of others. The Supreme Court granted Upadhyay bail six years after the murder in September. Uh, after six year uh, bail six years after the murder in September 2021, the prosecution argued that Vidya Dhar called his mother. and told her that he wanted to surrender before the police and also he had killed hema on instructions of chintan chintan through his lawyer denied all the allegations and claimed that he was made a scapegoat appearing for him senior advocate raja thakre and advocate bharat magani contended that chintan had no motive to eliminate his ex wife the divorce had come through and he had already paid a huge amount in maintenance so the prosecution relied heavily on the testimony of bambani wife poonam according to the deposition hema visited bambani two days before the murder and told him about the picture she had seen in his bedroom the prosecution also relied on the deposition of the estranged couple domestic help lalit mandal who categorically said that chintan never interacted with hema after their estrangement even when he stayed in the mumbai residence but days after the murder on december 8 2015 he bid hema goodbye thrice as he left for hema delhi uh, 